Hi, my name is Sarah from Addictive Math Inc. And today we're going to work through a word problem using the Singaporean method of bar modeling. So we have a problem here that says there are eight more women than men at a meeting. There were 20 people total at the meeting and they wanna know how many men were at the meeting. So we can solve this using algebra, but we can also use visuals, which works well with younger students or visual learners. And so we're going to use a bar model to work through this problem. To start out, I'm going to label and have bars for men and women. Okay. So there are eight more women than men at the meeting. So there's some quantity of men, which we don't know. And then there are eight more women. So the number of women can be described as the number of men plus eight more. So I'll label this as eight right here. And then it says there were 20 people total at the meeting. So I'm going to draw a bracket and write the 20 up here to represent that the total of all of these quantities, known and unknown, is 20. Now, what I'm actually gonna do is, this is sort of the equivalent in bar modeling of isolating x. I'm going to get rid of our knowns. So I'm gonna remove this bar right here that says eight. Since I've subtracted eight from here, I have to update this also. Okay, so this is 20 minus eight. In other words, these two bars is equal to 20 minus eight. So we can simplify this and say that the two bars are equal to 12. And now we can see if we have two bars that are equal in length and it's equal to 12, then each individual bar must be worth six. So now we've figured out what our unknown bar is worth. Let's redraw the diagram the way we had it before. And now we've solved for the quantity of men and women. So there are six men, which is what they're asking for. 